All right, we are at house number two with the same builder. Um, as you can see, it's a little more on the custom side. Yeah, this floor plan is a pleasant surprise. We go through a lot of these homes and so many of the floor plans are so similar, but this one, when you walk in the front door, you still have your big open space, but then the kitchen is positioned a little differently. We'll show that to you here in just a second. Uh, this one is still semi under construction. It is for sale. It is not one that is, is purchased by yet. So uh, right at the $600,000 mark, it's a pretty nice deal. Mm -hmm. It's right on the channel. Golf access, pool. Um, Three bedroom, three bath. How many square feet? Not sure. 2445. <laughs> Save it a second. All right, coming in through the French doors. Kimmy. All right, you have to look up because I think that this light fixture is amazing. It's beautiful. And keeping up real quick here, we'll go ahead and show the ceilings. These are 14 plus foot. Again, trade ceilings, fans. And there's kind of the kitchen that she was talking about. So what I love about this home when you walk in, it's a big open space, but you have the kitchen that's positioned so it is still a little bit sheltered. You have the amazing black doors, sliding doors that all um, slide together. We'll show that to you in a second. And the one side is fully retractable. And the ceiling. Can you show them the ceiling? Yep. The ceiling is really beautiful. Um, the colors again are neutral. It's very modern looking in here with the finishes. And what we're going to do, since the outdoor is closed, we're going to go through the master first. So if you come in the front door to your right, my left now is going to be the master suite. And the cool part is, is that they do have, as you can see, um, the slider for the bathroom. There's your master bath. Coming down the hallway, you have two closets, one on each side. Come into the master bedroom itself. The master wing is very nicely done. It's not like super extravagant and or huge, but it's like the perfect size. The bathroom is very tastefully done. It's just a nice, cozy area. And I love the black windows throughout. Mm -hmm, yeah. And so just like every a lot of the houses here, all the bedrooms and everything on the back is going to open up to the lanai. Again, the pool and stuff is not complete. Um, so it's one thing you got to kind of imagine. But it is, as you can see, a pretty nice pool. Uh, deep, it does have the landing little landing well where you put your chairs and there is a lot this is on a large lot as you can see there's quite a bit of space between um, the lanai or the bird cage out onto the channel and again so if you go right out here and you go to your left you're going to go what's called the spreader and right out to the gulf and here you go you have additional living space underneath ceiling fan and here are those fabulous doors and for those of you that don't know, these doors can be open about two to three months a year and then in the morning pretty much every day when the humidity is a little bit low. We love ours and we do open them pretty much every day. And then that one does as well. And it opens up the entire space. And then here you go to your dining and then your bedrooms are over here. Bathroom, bedroom, should have went the other way first, but so you get an idea what the closets are like. And this bedroom opens up onto the and I, which is um, a really nice detail. Mm -hmm. And then this is the pool bath that comes that leads out of the and I. You know what, while they're here, can you show them the outdoor kitchen? Certainly can. And come out this side and again. You do have another service door right there. And an outdoor kitchen is going in right here. Back in here. To the bathroom. And the third bedroom.
And again, all of the plank, the ceramic plank flooring, um, pretty common around here, but we do love it. And it's pretty easy to clean, maintain. And yeah, here's another view of the kitchen. Sorry to interrupt. Oops. And um, a lot of the houses that we look at, especially the new construction, have white cabinets. This one has black cabinets, and um, Matt and I both really like the way that they look. Under lighting, and she's in the refrigerator right now. And then you're going to have your stove micro combo that's put in here. On your laundry room. And, whoops. Pantry. <laughs> We're having some logistical <laughs> issues here. And the pantry. <laughs> and then out into the garage. Oh. And that is a three car garage. So two and a half by Indiana standards. Yeah. So, so yeah, everybody That's from Indiana, this is a two car garage. <laughs> Garages in Florida are a little bit smaller than what we're used to in the Midwest. And again, come back in here real quick to the kitchen, family room. And if you have any questions. Yeah.